Hey everyone, Leanne here from Jada Blossom, and we are having an adorable little mini octagon die release. Um, starting off with our octagon die Easter add-ons, adorable stuff, and our spring word dies. So quickly, I'll just go ahead and I'll show you. So these are the octagon uh, Easter add-ons. So I've got a little bunny rabbit, it's a little bow. I've got an Easter basket with a bow and look at the chocolate bunny in there, too darn cute. We've got a chick, super cute. Yeah, that was a little girl bunny. Now we've got a boy bunny with kind of wonky ears. Now you can actually have them facing all the way down, but I kind of like them looking all wonky because he looks a little bit stunned there with his little face. So too cute stuff. And um, if you want to see me put these together, just stay tuned till the end of the video and you can watch me put them together and see what I use and everything like that. So there's that. Okay, second of all, we have the beautiful spring word dies. They are always a favorite. And I'm just going to grab a piece of darker cardstock here so you can see what I've got going on. So these are the sizes. Now we've got blessings, we've got spring, we've got wishes, we have bunny, we have hoppy, we have hunt, we have egg, whoops. And lastly, we have Easter. Now you'll notice these were all cut out with SVGs because I didn't get the dies yet, but this is the die. And look how fabulous the die is versus the SVG. Show you again, just like I did in my last video. Like, look how nice and rounded it is. It's beautiful. And um, same thing goes with greetings. Okay, so I cut the shadow out with CTI Glamma translucent paper from cutcardstock.com. Um, the um, the uh, colors are all from Bazil Bling pad of paper. So now just quickly, we can go over this. We have Hoppy, Hoppy Easter, Easter wishes, Easter blessings, spring wishes, spring blessings, spring greetings, Easter greetings, bunny greetings, egg hunt, um, you can pull in some of our other sets and, and do a happy Easter and so forth. Um, but these are beautiful. And for this release, I made these two projects. I made a card and I made um, a little treat box. And I will be changing out the SVG for the die. So there's the SVG. And look what happens to it when I add the die. Oh, so much nicer. Okay. And then same thing here. I've got the Easter hello, and I will be adding on the die to make it look much more beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? So anyway, so that's it. So you really want to get your hands on this adorable release. And like I said, stay tuned uh, to the end of the video and watch me put together the adorable um, Octagon Easter add-on dies. And like I said before, um, I appreciate you coming by and, and watching my videos. And I hope these little release and reviews help with uh, making your choices for what you want to add to your repertoires crafting. And that's it. So anyways, like I said, stay tuned for the end of the video and I'll, I will put these all together for you. Okay, everyone. So I am going to quickly put together all of these little critters from this uh, Octagon Easter add-on set. So first of all, I'm using um, Doodlebug's Daisy Gra or Floral Graph Rainbow Petite Prints. I cut that chick out of it. I did some ink blending around the edge and fossilized amber, distress ink. And now I'm adding black little eyes, uh, paper tray ink, black cardstock using my reverse tweezers. And the little orange nose is American Crafts orange cardstock. And I did some ink blending around the edge with Spiced Marmalade Distress Ink. Now I'm pulling out my EK Success Chalk and I'm just going to blend on some little cheeks because of course all chicks have cheeks, right? Little pink cheeks, <laughs> not really. But you know, if they're kind of cartoonish, you kind of want to make them look cutesy. That's what I'm going for. And now I'm going to add on some white highlights using my Secure White Jelly Roll pen and a number 10. That's kind of my favorite for doing this. And like I said, this little chick, you could make it a girl and add a bow. Make it in any color you'd like. So now I'm going ahead and putting together one of the bunnies. I used American Crafts cardstock, uh, kind of like a darker beige ink blended around the edge with vintage photo distress ink and then I'm adding um, the little ears are the reverse side of that floral graph um, 
or no, it's the reverse side of the Rainbow Petite prints in pink. And I um, ink blended Kitsch Flamingo and Distress Ink around the edges. Now I'm just adding the little ears onto the top of this little background. Now these will fit directly on your Octagon Treat Box die and you'll have like a little container for treats. Um, I didn't show that because I just decided to build the fronts for you. Now this little muzzle, I'm popping it up with Stampin' Up Dimensionals and that's cut out of um, American Crafts cardstock and I ink blended around the edge with Distress Ink and Antique Linen. Now I'm adding the nose, that's cut out of the same paper as the um, ear, inside of the ears. Now I'm going to add the eyes. These are two little black eyes cut out of Paper Tray Ink black cardstock. And I'm just going to pop those in place. And how cute is, is that? Adorable. And I'm going to add the little bow. Of course I add the wrong bow. Really I meant to add a purple bow, but you'll see that a little later. And how cute is that? The pattern paper is actually from Doodlebug's Hoppy Easter 6-inch pad. And I ink blended, ink blended some Ketch Flamingo around the edge. Now I'm adding on some EK Success Chalk. I'm going to tap on some Secure White Jelly Roll pen, white little freckles and highlights. And how cute is that? Adorable. And like I said, you could add it right to the front of a treat box or on the front of a card. Now I'm going to put together a gray bunny. And this one will be my boy bunny. And I'm putting uh, two layers of ears on uh, because I'm planning on folding them. Now you don't have to, you could just attach them so they're facing down like a lop bunny. But I kind of look like the look of these ears kind of being all wonky and funny looking. <laughs> so I'm using American Crafts gray cardstock, um, a light color and a dark color, adding EK chalk to that. I used Hickory Smoke Distress Ink to um, ink around the edges adding on the same little pink nose, the reverse side of the Rainbow Petite Prints in Gingham Linen from Doodlebug. In pink, I used um, Ketch Flamingo to ink blend around the edge, same with the inner ears. Now these are white cardstock pieces that I cut out of Paper Trank white cardstock, and I'm just lining those up with the muzzle. And then I'll add the little black dots to the center. Those are using Paper Trank's black cardstock and my reverse tweezers again. And how cute is this guy? He's kind of got like a derpy stare going on. So now I'm adding um, the interior of the ears using my um, AdTech tape runner there. And just sticking them down. And then what I'll do is I'm going to fold these ears. My Martha Stewart scoreboard and my Teflon bone folder. And I just sort of bent them so they will fold cleanly. And then I will stick these to the back of the bunny again using my AdTech uh, tape runner. I'm just going to ink along the fold just so it makes it look a little bit more realistic for a cartoon bunny, right? And I'll add that to the back of the bunny. There we go, getting them in place. And how cute is this bunny rabbit? Like just too darn cute. And then I'll use a, um, a Stampin' Up Dimensional underneath each ear just so it's kind of popped up a little bit in the fold. I just think it looks kind of fun. And then I will add some Secure White Jelly Roll pen um, you know, little freckles, little highlights, what have you. And how cute is that little bunny? Just adorable. And you can slap this right on the front of that Octagon Treat Box die and have an adorable little treat box um, for anybody. So now I'm going to show you how I went ahead and I made the little basket. So this is a piece of chocolate cardstock from, um, I think that's paper tray. Oh, no, no, it's not paper tray ink. That's just Recollections chocolate cardstock. And the that's Gingham Linen Doodlebug, that little um, part on the front there that I cut out. And I inked around the edges with Vintage Photo Distress Ink. Now I've got the handles cut out of the same thing. Now that Doodlebug plaid paper is from that Hoppy Easter 6-inch pad. Again, I'll add that. You'll notice that I trimmed off the top just because I want it to look like a, a see-through basket. Now you could use a, a like a blue background to make it look like sky, but I kind of wanted mine to go away, so that's why I trimmed mine off. Now I'm going to add the handle to the top of my little basket. How cute is that? Just making sure it's stuck down well. And now I'm going to add in my little eggs that were all cut from the Floral Graph Rainbow Petite Prints from Doodlebug. And that bunny is from Paper Tray Ink uh, Dark Chocolate Cardstock. So I'm just going to run a, a line of my AdTech Glue Runner, and I'm going to add my grass. The grass is from the Buffalo Check Wood Grain 6-inch um, pad from, um, from Doodlebug. And I ink blended with Twisted Citron. 
Now I'm going to pop in my little bunny and then I will add my little eggs in. So kitsch flamingo, peacock feathers, dusty concord, fossilized amber are the inks that I use to blend around the edges. And then I will add on my little bow. And how cute is that? Just an adorable set. So you're really going to want to add in this. If you've got the other octagon treat box dies, you're going to want these ones because they are just so cute. So you want to make sure to hop on over to the Jada Blossom blog and get inspired by everyone. Hop on over to the Jada Blossom store. Maybe get your hands on some of these products. Um, they are super duper cute. Um, you can decorate them however you'd like. I just wanted to keep to what was true in the actual die set. And that's about all. So thank you so much for stopping by. Be sure to hop on over, like I said, to the Jada Blossom blog, the Jada Blossom store, and um, check out everybody's projects and be inspired. Like I said, they inspire me every day. And um, thank you so much for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, you guys. And that's about all. So hopefully we will see you soon in my next one. Bye, everyone.